Okay, today I'm here to do a demonstration and comparison test on the, the Fisher PH492 and the Fisher PH480. As you can see, both sets of speakers are 8 inches, so they're the same size. One difference between the two is that the speaker boxes as you can see is about a half of an inch, quarter of an inch to a half of an inch difference the 480 being a little bit bigger the speaker boxes. Come around to the back here. Both of them have a little section that sticks out. They're pretty much the same. Stick out about the same equivalence. Both have dual antennas. Both stock dual antennas. Okay, we got features 480. We have a lighted tuner dial with a built in tuning meter. It stays red when it's not, not in tune and green when it uh, tunes in. We have push button controls all the way up and down, plus slider controls. The uh, It's got bass and treble controls, mixing level. It also has an LED left and right power meter. Tape deck is a full auto tape deck with auto stop and has up to three songs music search. Tape. We have uh, normal, metal, and CRO2 functions. It's got a record level, right and left, a balance slider, and rolling tuner and volume knobs. Functions on the 492. Okay, nice thing about this one, it has a weighted tuner dial. Very nice. It also has a lighted tuner dial and it also has an LED uh, tuning display to show when you're tuned into a station. It's a nice feature. All the switches are toggled. All toggled switches on it. No push buttons. We also have a five band graphic equalizer it's got different function controls it also has an input select for a phono and line in mono stereo stereo wide selector switch it also has a battery check light uh, the tape deck complete auto tape deck full auto stop and it has uh, for preset music search, up to seven songs. Has Dolby Noise and Metal CRO2 and Normal. And this also has the record level and mics making, mic mixing level. So, let's go to the 480. Power it up. One thing I know about the 480 is, is when the antennas are down, it gets a much better reception than the 492. You see how it turns red? And when it's tuned in, it turns green. It's a nice feature. This one also has the mic mixing level. Rite Aid is the only place you can earn up to 20% off the whole store every day for a year with a free Wellness Plus card. That's 20% off. And getting 20% off. That's about number two for radio. The LEDs on the 480 move to the power of the volume. So the lower the power, the less LED that lights up. The more, the more LED that lights up. The more, the 492 actually is a steady value or steady LED control. Okay. Oh. 
So get a tape. That's about number three for the tape. Okay, we're going to try to music search to the next song. And there it is. This is a well-rounded stereo. The amplifier is pretty powerful on this. I would actually say that the amplifier seems to be more powerful than the 492. That's at number three. Okay. Okay, now we're going to test the 492 out. As I said, the tuner section in the 492 does not seem to be as clear as the uh, 480. Picks up stations, but it has a harder time of picking them up. So that's the downfall to the 492. But when it picks them up, it does a good job. As you can see, the LEDs, I'm raising it. And they stay the same. It also has a battery check. Test out the tape now. Maybe number three here. That's why I say the 480 seems to be a little bit louder. Seems to have a little bit more powerful of an amp. Okay, I'm gonna set this to one on the music search. We got up to seven of them we can go. So we're gonna fast forward it through the music search. It's got a quiet music search. And there it goes. Okay, another thing I wanted to look at is the tags on the back here. It's not coming in clear, it's not light enough. It says 32 watts of power being used, it takes 15 volts, so 10D batteries. That's for the 492. And the Fisher 480 is actually showing a little bit lower of a wattage for power, 30 watts. 
course 15 volts 10D batteries oh both radios have a record out auxiliary in and a phono in it says line in line out and phono both radios are up to 240 volts input power so as for which one I like better I really can't say I like them both they both have their different features and different qualities I just I like the Fisher 492 because of the tuner and the lighted tuner it looks more like the radio it looks more like a hi-fi unit the coloring the chrome the 480 is more of a walk around unit not much of a hi-fi looker with the push buttons and the slider controls both decks work great though on both radios well you decide which one you think is better out of this little comparison test. Thank you for joining me.